fine. Hi, how are you? <laughs> and welcome to um, International Poetry Day. I'm really delighted to be doing this with uh, poet Nell Regan. And first of all, I'm going to talk about how we met because I haven't done that for ages. We met on a thing called the International Writers Course. I don't even want to say what year it was, but I think it was about 2001. And some we time were the youngest ago. people on it, so it must have been some time ago. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and since then, we've kept in touch uh, over the years. And then recently on uh, Culture Night, we decided we'd attempt a collaboration of some of Nell's amazing poems and some music underneath. And as Mary was saying, we did actually go on to share a house together. And we used to joke about hosting an evening with Mary and Nell from our sitting room which is in fact what we're doing tonight. So settle in, we're gonna have some short live performances and screening of the videos. And I'm gonna introduce Mary. So Mary Barnicott is a Dublin based musician who works with a variety of artist bands, orchestras and educational projects. She's composed music, including the musical string play for the Ark with her sister Catherine and Matthew Jacobson. She's going to play Raft for us, which is on her SoundCloud, and will also be on her second album, which she is halfway through recording. Mary. Thanks, Nell. Thank you. And thanks for that introduction, Nell. I'm now going to introduce Nell to you. She's going to read a few poems. Um, so I met L Nell a good while ago. And uh, since then, she's got three very successful books of poems, which are Preparing for Spring, Bound for Home, which are both with Arlen House, and One Still Thing, which was out in 2014. She has won the Patrick and Catherine Kavanagh Fellowship, Arts Council, Li Arts Council Literature Bursaries, and she was a fellow at the International Writers Programme in Iowa. And her biography, Helena Maloney, A Radical Life, was a 2017 Irish Independent Book of the Year. 
She works as a freelance educator, literary curator, and her translation from the Japanese of Oyuga's 100 Poems, 100 Poets is due out from Daedalus Press soon. So without further ado, I'm really looking forward to hearing uh, Nell Regan-Reed. Nell. Cheers, Mary. Thank you. I'm going to read, actually, the first poem I'm going to read is um, it's called How to Destroy a Memorial. And it was written in memory of the wonderful um, murdered Maltese journalist Daphne Caruña Galizia. And today, um, Poetry Ireland, there's a wonderful project called Writing or Letters with Wings for Prisoners of Conscience. So I wanted to read that um, sort of for Prisoners of Conscience, but also in memory of Daphne Caruña Galizia, who's, and there were flowers and candles left in Valletta in the capital of um, Malta, but they were regularly destroyed by the authorities. But Penn International actually created a poetry memorial for Daphne. How to destroy a memorial. The yellow throated crocus will still speak out. Wax will keep its vigil in the hive. Into the ear of each wave, the sea daffodil whispers your name. The torn messages begin to hum. The gregal carries news on the wires of its breath. The leaking ink stains each stain of each grain of sand, which strafe the face of Valletta, stick as grit in its eye, keeping the throat raw. Um, the second poem I want to read is actually not one of my own. It's actually um, one of Yvonne Boland's poems. Um, and of course, Yvonne Boland sadly passed away and shockingly passed away on Monday. And I think Poetry Day today is, is dedicated to her. So this is one of um, my favourite and one of her most famous poems. And it's called Outside History. Yvonne Boland. There are outsiders always. These stars, these iron inklings of an Irish January, whose lights happened thousands of years before our pain did, they have always been outside history. They keep their distance. Under them remains a place where you found you were human and a landscape in which you know you are mortal and a time to choose between them. I have chosen. Out of myth into history I move to be, part of that ordeal whose darkness is only now reaching me from those fields, those rivers, those roads clotted as firmaments with the dead. How slowly they die as we kneel beside them, whisper in their ear, and we are too late, we are always too late. And Ivan Boland. Um, so I'm going to introduce now our first video, which is called Leader. is a little song to comfort you. Sing it to yourself softly, simply, just as you are. Robert Schumann to Clara Schumann, July 1840. His scent still rose off my skin. My pores exuded the impress of his hand and my throat whimpered want when the bouquet of songs arrived, bound by a single chord which I plucked spilling sheaves all their cadent radiant content i his rapture i his pain he mine he said light hit the water like a cadenza that day but his soul could not resist the shadows of the bridge its counter melody now as behind me each door slams bolts i only meet what beats in him in the tremolo of my larynx or the dark corridor of the keyboard.
And that was leader. So I'm just going to introduce that was the, a collaboration that Nell and I did um, based on our um, based on our culture night collaborations. We decided while we were locked down here, we put them together in a jam and make a few videos. So that's number one. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to get my camera angle. Right. Um, no, I love. Well, I loved it. How did you approach the composition for that one, Mary? I love that one. Um, because you say it's a simple song at the beginning, I thought I'll do something mm. really quite simple and, and waltz like. Because when I think of the Schumanns, I do think of that era and the waltzes. And um, so I just put something really simple into three time. And um, yeah, it's it's a really, really beautiful poem. I mean, were you, what, what was it that drew you to um, Clara and Robert Schumann and their relationship? Oh, I remember I was doing, I think I was doing a pitch actually for a libretto to put together all of the leader and I didn't get the pitch, but I did get a poem out of it. Um, but I remember just being amazed by her and kind of, I hadn't known about her, I'd known his name, but I didn't realise she was kind of an award winning um, pianist and composer in her own right. Um, but I also loved, he'd sent her, when you were saying the little song, he'd sent her all these songs quite quickly at the beginning of their courtship and um sent a little letter saying here's a little song sing it softly so i can quote that at the beginning so i'm delighted that she that's what you picked up on for it um and i think um i think we were going to go on to our next video which is let's you are it. to me yeah let's go for it <laughs> You are to me, as basil scent is to fingertip, illuminate to manuscript, and ballast is to cargo ship. A slow burn is to charcoal, reception to a mobile, distraction to a two-year-old. As honey is to raw throat, China is to slow boat, and mp3 is to download. As right change is to bus fare, downy is to mohair, and ergonomics to office chair. As milk is to steeping tea, laughter is to levity, and conquer is to gravity. As oil feather is to bird flight, Perception is to second sight, and earth tilt is to daylight, so you are to me. <laughs> <laughs> 